Today we've got to look at cleaning bricks. There we've got this brick comes out of a building from about 1780. We want to reuse it, so we look at the state. That's what we've taken out, there. and we've got to try and achieve that, so we can reuse it. We've got to get all the lime lime pipe that's been on there over 200 years, and this is where we're taking the bricks from. This is where we've got to reuse them. We're having to cut them. Got these little arises on the end where he's pointing this is painstakingly slow but this is the only way to do it you can use whatever item like an axe a piece of metal a trowel whatever works for you there's no correct or wrong way it's what, how you get the end result it's quite slow These are some which have been done over the last couple of days. All the halves come in, everything gets used, nothing gets wasted. They, are, they are cost a lot of money if you go and buy them. So, Plus these will match what we're trying to do. So I'm using the grain of my glove because this is sort of a rough to dust off any access. And as you can see now, it is nice and red and there's pretty much no line left on here now. And that is almost like... So that's one, that's the first side done. Yes. We'll, we'll have a look and see what he does next. There we go. Get the big lumps off first. It's a, it's a sort of choice between you can't hit it too hard. At the same time you have to give it a, a firm mark. That's just knowing your boundaries really. Get the, the big lumps off first and then we'll have a look in a few minutes and we'll see where we're at. So this is where we've start to two out the old bricks you can see there painstakingly slow but then we'll pan around there's another bit to come out then if we look below that's that's what we're achieving by using these original bricks at the original property that red really bright redness will just die away eventually as they dry out and weather in a little bit Let's see how he's getting on with the second face of the brick. Let's have a look at that. Yep. The whole process of one brick can take anywhere between sort of five, ten, fifteen minutes, depending how good a condition it is, whether the brick is more crumbly, sometimes the dirt may just fall apart. These, to be fair, these bricks are in fairly good condition. Sometimes you do all this, you get right to the end, then a piece just falls off. It's all frustrating. As you can see, it's now starting to take a new shape. So there we are, it's nearly, mate, nearly finished. And to think that this brick is easily 200 years old. That would have been made somewhere local to where we are, because in those days there was no track. You couldn't just ring up and order bricks, you wanted to film. And all the little quirks and shapes are just handmade. Today the bricks today can be like identical, millions and millions of times over. These are all a little bit different because they all fire different. They didn't have the mechanics we got today to get the clay perfect every time. Let's turn that one over and see what it's looking like. We get the brush. I'm sure we'll brush it up now. And that's that really starting to take shape now. If we look at the face of it, you can see a good face there. I think you've just got to finish on the ends. We've got two good faces there. Sometimes if this brick is damaged on that, best we can use the ends. Right, let's have a look at the, the final product. Fantastic. Let's just give it a quick brush. 
make sure we get all the rubbish off. And then we have a brick ready to use, ready for another 200 years use. Put that on the heap with the rest. Right, and I've got to take out these bricks here. And we've got to take that brick out to be like this, which is called tooth and in. So that when we rebuild the wall, like that, that's already toothed out. So what we'll do is brush all the rubbish out so it doesn't go in our eyes. First of all, I've just got to clean this piece up here using my cooling chisel. The biggest job I've got to do is make sure I don't break that brick. I don't want that one to bust off there. I've got to get this out. So I've got a piece out there. Next thing I'll do, I'm going to get my brick saw and I'm going to try and saw through this joint. Because this is lime mortar and not cement as the modern stuff, we were able to saw this. If that was today's wall, you couldn't do it. So I'm happy now, of, between that brick and that brick, I've cleared a gap and I'm not joined to that one. So the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to take out this header here. Just tap him out. That will be cleaned in a little while. Now, tap that. Now, to get this one out here, I'll just give this a gentle tap. It tells me I need to cut a little more out there, because that's nipping. Just get my brush, get rid of the worst. The key to this is keeping it really, really clean. If you get that in your eye, that's like, Lime dust is, is really lethal in your eyes. And if I'm lucky now, we might get this one loose. If you look there, it's now starting to go. See that crack there? Look, there we go. Nothing's nipping, so we're not got, we're not got to damage the brick. I'll wiggle it a bit. 